Hey friends, in this lesson what I'll try to basically look at is the whole concept of bending. The concept of being. Let us start. For example, I have this body with me. Right. And I, I make it fix on one side and I pull it by a force P. Now if this body is in equilibrium and I cut this body along the MN plane and I represent this blue shaded portion here then I have this force P which is the external force and to balance this external force there must be an internal force that will have to be developed along the plane MN which will make this part of the body in equilibrium and this force P is essentially the internal force so the whole concept of internal force is that when a body is subjected to some kind of an external force at every cross section of the body there will be certain internal forces that will develop to take that portion of the body in equilibrium right let us understand this with this example if we have a body like this and if it is acted by forces P1 and P2 suppose and if I cut it by a plane and I represent this shaded portion of the body here suppose now if this body is in equilibrium under the action of forces P1 and P2 this body was in equilibrium so this small portion of the body will also be in equilibrium and to make this portion of the body in equilibrium this should provide a force P1 there should be an internal force developing P1 which will balance this force P1 and this internal force is basically the reaction that this other part of the body provides to this so now we'll take this concept to beam now what is a beam? a beam is some sort of a structural member that takes in loads by bending right so a beam is some sort of a structural member that takes in loads by bending so essentially the beam's longitudinal direction that is this direction is very long as compared to this lateral dimension and the beam is most often than not loaded along the transverse axis right now this is the beam suppose subjected to loads P1 and P2 now there are two supports this is hinge this is roller now this hinge support has two restraints roller support has one restraint so in total I have three restraints I have three equations of equilibrium and I can easily solve it by I can easily solve the restraints now now let us cut this beam by a plane MN and this shaded portion is my cross-sectional area right and I bring this portion of the body that is the left portion of the body and I draw it here now this will be force P1 this will be force P2 and there will be two reactions Ry and Rx now due to this all these forces there will be some kind of a resultant force that will develop along this edge and let that resultant force be R and there will also be some kind of a moment a resultant moment developed due to Rx, Ry, P1 and P2 and let that moment be equal to Mx now if there are no internal forces or if the body if this portion of the beam is not provided by some reactional forces by this portion of the body the, this portion of the body won't have been in equilibrium because we have a resultant force R here and a resultant moment Mx so essentially there will have to be internal forces that will develop along this edge which will balance this R and Mx and let that internal force be equal to N and if this is my clockwise moment this is my anti-clockwise moment and suppose this is the, we call this bending moment right so essentially this N can be resolved into two components and those are basically Nx and Ny right I think I have a problem with pen, so I'm going to take this thing. Right. So, NY and NX. Now, NY is one of my internal force, NX is one of my internal force, and bending moment is one of my internal force. So, these three forces are my internal, these three are my internal forces. And I represent this three here. Wherein this is my NY, this is my NX, and this is my bending moment. So this bending moment, Nx, Ny, this three are my internal forces. Now, the essential difference between beam and some kind of an axial member is that 
a beam will bend this bending moment will produce bending moment or internal forces and they will produce bending strain and essentially the beam will take in the loads by bending this ny will try to shear the beam along this plane mn so ny is the shear force this is my bending moment and nx is my normal force which will have some kind of uh, actual contraction and actual expansion effect on the beam but as the actual contraction and actual expansion is negligible as compared to shear strain or bending strain we most often than not we neglect it and consider that the beam is actually rigid so the whole concept is like this when a beam is subjected to some kind of external forces there will be internal forces developed at every cross section of the beam and the internal forces will be of basically three types number one you have the normal force Number two, you have the shear force, and number three, you have the bending moment. And these three forces, these three internal forces, will be looked at in greater detail as we, as we proceed. Thanks a lot for listening. Thank you.